think the first thing mama birds need to do, this is my phone so I can't hold it very steady, is teach baby birds when they first learn how to fly, don't land next to a cat. My cat had this entire bird in its mouth and I had to pick him up and shake him and shove my fingers in his mouth to pry it out. So he'll do better out in the middle of this field. So let's see if I can give him a little flight lesson here. Let me get my phone situated. Hold on. Hold on. Stick in here. Okay, there we go. All right, little fella, you ready? This is going to be your probably last chance of survival. You come back in this yard, you're going to have trouble. Go. Hey, it made it. It made it to the top of the building right there. There it is. Can you see it like right? Right there. Ah, my phone's all slimy. Now, okay, that's all I got to say about that. Alright, it's always encouraging to see this before you go to your playground. I'm getting ready to go and do a more in-depth biohazard sample of the, uh, of the water. My swishing spot. So I hope it turns out swisher sweet and not as bad as we think. One second. I did not bring my GoPro. I don't know if I've already said that. But there are fish down around the corner. Um, they're back alive. They're not back alive. They're new ones. And up here, there are live fish under the bridge again. But not right here in this particular spot where I spent so much time. They're up there. There's a little school of them right about there. So I'm gonna get, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. I want a flowing sample, then I'm gonna use a syringe and go deep in the dirt and try to suck up water from the depths. Ooh, speaking of Swisher Sweet, that's a sweet and delicious. All right, let's see how this works out. Okay. I changed my feet, so. That might be a good spot where it has filled up and it's sitting or come back down here. There's a lot of fish in there. Well, not a lot, but they are there. So that is good. I think, I don't, I thought I mentioned it and it said it on the package, but the test that I did that was provided by my tree surgeon <laughs> was for drinking water. So of course, bacteria levels in this creek are not gonna be safe. So if you had used that same test at home and found bacteria of any kind in your uh, drinking water, you wouldn't drink it but like every creek and every river and stream you don't uh you don't drink them that's just the way it is i've already got ants on me okay so what we're gonna do is get a plan i've got one syringe in two hands. Oh, there's something else I left last time. Where can I come down here and do that? 
but you can't see it. Sure you can. All right, I gotta, I gotta use the two hands. Okay, I'm set up. I'm ready to get serious. So, I didn't want to stick this needle through my finger, a syringe. So, I don't see any reason to alcohol the spot off. I'm going to do it right here where I play the most. But, I'm going to go deep. I still need another hand. So I can get 10 milliliters in here. Let's go. Now that's a sample. So check out all the excess. It's not gonna fit in my bag again. I'm ready. So now that has to be tested soon. And the tree surgeon has made arrangements for me to have that tested soon. So Dry this finger. There it is. See, I can't tell what's blurry and what's not. Is that blurry or is that not? And that's what I've got. Okay, let's do the test done. 